Oh god, they're all going. Getting footage. So now that it's late July, you know, I really kind of increased my whitetail prep and really my hunting prep in general with this year's elk trip. I'm going to shoot some broadheads today. I'm going to get some trail cams out late in the day in the day and some big woods and, and actually a good area that I really need to know if a couple of those shooter bucks survive. So important day and, and really this is a big, you know, ramp up in, in off season activity now that you're almost to August. Uh, I feel like every year it gets here and I push the panic button. So trying to get a few things done today. So first two shots, the second one I broke and it was a touch left and it is a touch left. But uh, I mean, I just literally pulled them out of the box and shot them at 40 and uh, they flew. First one was, was real good. Second one's off by, oh, let's call it two and a half inches. Um, but I knew when this broke, it was a solid inch and a half outside. Uh, so that doesn't surprise me. I'm gonna shoot a few more and kind of get some results. But. So I'm going to shoot a few different types of broadheads, um, Slick Trick, the Day 6 Evo, uh, these afflictors, they're new, uh, but they got a beefier front end, so I kind of like that aspect of, of these heads. Uh, I'm also a fan of like the Black, uh, Black Hornet by Magnus, but I'm going to shoot a few heads. I found that sometimes a bow tends to like a, a certain head a little bit more accurately than, or shoot a, shoot one a little more accurately than others. So Think of the day, this is, this is an afflictor, this is an afflictor, this is a Slick Trick. Um, we'll call that a two inch group at 40 and I haven't been shooting a ton this summer. I got my bow set up, I think in June, um, but, uh, that'll, that'll work for today. I don't think I'm gonna bump sights or rest really. So that big shot target I was shooting there, I actually bought that last year at Attaboy's and, uh, it's like 110 bucks, same price as a block, but I think it definitely holds up better. Uh, the first day I had it, I put 50 slick trick, you know, broadheads into it and so when you shoot I think those four blades that have that big old essentially X uh, on, on, in your target pulling that foam out that thing's held up really well so so I've been impressed with that if anybody's uh, on the fence about a good broadhead target I'd actually think I'll pick up another something I generally do oh a day or two before putting cams out is I like to go through them all and put the batteries in them get the SD card and, and kind of test to make sure they're all working appropriately. That way it saves me a couple headaches in the field or going to pull them and realizing the camera doesn't work. Something that we've kind of picked up on over the years is when you hang elevated sets, it's always an easier time with a buddy. That way they can hand you stuff, they can help. They can also really judge the camera angle while you're standing on a stick to get it adjusted quickly. When you're by yourself, you're up and down a few times and it just makes for a longer day. You don't move as fast and there's nobody else there to embrace the suck with. As for trail cam locations, generally we're hanging them on scrapes that we know are there year after year uh, or on like a beat down trail leading to and from uh, good habitat or bedding areas. Generally some of these cams we're not even going to check until fall begins so they can go ahead and soak long term and tell us what bucks are in the area come season. So the other thing I like to do here in August, if you will, or really ramp up my training now is pack walks or pack hikes. Uh, I try to find hills and something that I, I listened to, I think on Bo Martonic's podcast, he had a guy on talking about um, training in hard elements. Uh, guys go to the gym and they think they're fit. Well, the gym's air conditioning, the weights have handles versus I'm out here with a pack and it's, gonna, it's in the heat of the day, it's mid afternoon. And so trying to really, I don't know, simulate what it's going to be like uh on the mountain and that'll make me tougher hopefully for whitetail season but uh you know pack walks pack hikes if you don't have a pack with a frame uh maybe just use your stand i've done that for you know years and so i think that's a, a good ad for the august regiment i think putting weight on your back and doing oh side hilling up and down hills it's different muscles than than you truly hit uh just doing like squats even volume type squats now i'm not adam hayes behind the glass but i do do some drives and look for deer 
starting around late July, August. Nothing crazy, and I do tend to go in the mornings just because that's easier on the home life balance. Uh, it's easier for me to slip away, and also there's less people on the roads. Friday, Saturday nights, uh, the roads seem to be a little busier than, say, Saturday morning, first thing, crack of daylight. So I will do a little driving, and you might get lucky. Oh, God, they're all going. 